everybody and welcome to my shop. As you know, I'm working on building a mobile workshop right now. And that's why right now all I think about is selecting the most essential tools. And I think we found the perfect starting point. Oh, it is a little heavier. All right, before we open this, it all started with this hand plane. So I had this plane for quite a while and I never knew that the company who makes it is actually just one hour away from my shop. So we started talking and they invited us and the exciting thing is that this company is 170 years old and they never had a film team there. So this is not sponsored, we're just so excited. We were the first who got the invitation to film their shop. So let's take a look. Wahnsinn, ey. Ja, so sieht das hier aus bei uns. Alles schön grün. <lacht> ja. I've been here for two minutes. I can already tell you, this is my favorite company. You know why? <lacht> I have never seen another one in the wild. Mein Name ist Hans-Jörg Emmerich, ich bin die fünfte Generation, die die Firma ECE Tischler Werkzeuge leitet und wir haben uns seit 1852 auf die Fahne geschrieben, hochwertige Tischler Werkzeuge für Schreiner zu machen. Wir sind auch ein wenig stolz, dass wir das hier in Remscheid machen dürfen. Remscheid ist und bleibt ja die Hochburg für Werkzeuge und deshalb freue ich mich sehr, dass du heute zu uns gekommen bist und dass ich dir zeigen kann, wie wir Hobel machen. Ich bin sehr gespannt. All right, one story he told us that really got me was traditionally um, carpenters would make their own tools and they would hang on to it for all their lives and never loan it because it's so specialized to their needs. Um, apparently Hans-Jörg's great, 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 great grandfather, <laughs> he was so good at making these hand planes that he started selling these and this is how the company was founded. Now, I had this hand plane for I don't know, a couple months. And I always wondered, how the hell do they make this? The whole shop is a little bit, it feels like a time capsule. And time is one of the biggest topic, I think, for the production of these tools. Um, we saw where they dried their wood. And again, this is one of these things that would be so easy to outsource and to, to make faster and more profitable just by getting kiln dried wood. But they buy the regional wood and they dry it themselves. They have these stacks and they already sort it like what is going to be what tool. And then depending on the thickness of the pieces, they stay in this room for up to a year because that's how long it takes till the wood slowly dries up to a point that they can make the tools out of. And I want to say again, like this sounds the, like the biggest commercial ever. It's not, they did not pay us to get there. They gave us, they gave us tools and I'll talk about this in a second, but it, to me, it is just so fascinating to see that. Because if you have some kind of interest into tools, the only thing that is more interesting than tools is to see how they get made. And I'm just so thankful that we got to, that we got to see that. It is so inspiring also for my own shop and for the shop that I now want to build, the mobile shop. <laughs>
Hans Jörg's father in the 50s started documenting the process and these are the original plans. By now they obviously have more modern ways to document the process but I'm just blown away by this. The handwriting, just keeping this folder around, the appreciation for the past, the appreciation for how things were done back then. Yeah, you can see it in this folder, you can also see it in the tools. That's why I'm a big fan. Hanging out in the shop and seeing the old machines and seeing how they treat the materials. I think what struck me is that it seems it is not optimized for profit, it's optimized for product. They figured out how to make the perfect hand plane years ago and now it's not about finding ways to make it faster or cheaper or more. It's just finding a way to keep it exactly the same, which is, I can imagine, hard enough. <laughs> Okay, what I think is so crazy that even like details, like the wing nuts, first of all, they're brass, which is the best. And they're from 50 kilometers from this region. So even the smallest details are regional and as good as they can be. I think that's crazy, crazy good. <laughs> I think this is exactly the details where it would be so easy to go, let's just order 50,000 wing nuts and washers um, from a different company, but to be so thorough and have that from the right material out of the region, yeah, that just blows me away. It's worth it, I think. Ah ja, genau, so ein Ding habe ich auch mal. Äh, die sind geil. Da ist ja dann alles drin, ne? Da ist alles drin, was du brauchst, vor allen Dingen, wenn du auf Montage bist. Mhm. Und ich weiß nicht, ob du den kennst. Ja, doch, doch, den, doch, den kennst du schon, ja, genau. Ja, ja. Den Einhandhobel oder den Blockhobel. Und das Tolle ist, den brauchst du nicht mit dem Hammer einzustellen, ja. sondern den kannst du hier über diese Einstellschraube kannst du den justieren und kannst dir die Spanstärke einstellen. Eigentlich muss so ein Hobel ja immer pfeifen. Und hältst du den eigentlich auch immer eher so ein bisschen schräg oder gerade? Ähm, schräg ist eigentlich richtig, das stimmt. Wenn du die Möglichkeit hast, von der Fläche her hältst du ihn schräg, genau. Pfeift er genug? Ja. Oh, Ich dachte jetzt noch mal, nee, ich mache jetzt hier, bis das weg ist. Es war mir ein Vergnügen, hat echt Spaß gemacht mit euch. Ich habe das Gefühl, ich komme auch noch mal wieder. Immer gerne. <lacht> okay, this is the moment. This will blow you away. It blew me away. I think this is the perfect solution or the perfect starting point, because it has the most essential hand tools. And it's not only storage, it is kind of a mini shop. You don't have to unpack anything. It's all right there. It's all within reach. And what I like the most, not the most, but what I really like is that there is a little bit space left that we can use for our own optimization. And that is something that I want to do next week is, remember when I said that the carpenters had their own hand planes and it was so catered to their own needs that they would never loan it. This is what I want this box to be. So there are some things, for example, this, 
this has to be the Jimmy DeResta ice pick. It can't be this generic thing. Or this Leatherman. So I will take some time and customize this mini workshop as much as I can because it needs to be the most efficient it can be and most catered to my needs. But I think this is a great, 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 great starting point. And one more thing, I know I'm rambling, but I think this is really important because I get this question so much from people who start their own shops or who wanna get started in woodworking. Like, how do I start? What are the most essential tools? I think a kit like this, I mean, it is a good starting point because people who have been thinking about tools for 170 years, put this together and then it's, it doesn't have to be this one, but any kind of kit, get it and then customize it. There's a starting point. So this is my starting point for the mobile workshop. I cannot wait to put my own spin on it. I, you know what we, I think we should do? Like write something on it just oh, to, yeah. to customize it a little bit. Let's do it. Date it. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, next week we're going to customize this toolkit and we will start working on the mobile workshop. And of course, we're always working on the house, but the thing is, the jobs we're doing at the house look like this. So yeah, it is a little bit boring, but we are working in the background and I will absolutely keep you posted. So I want to thank Hans Jörg for showing us his shop and the whole ETA -E team for having us. And I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I'm enjoying my new toolkit. And I will see you next week with a new video, but before you go, this week's video is sponsored by brilliant.org. Brilliant is a hands-on way to learn about math, science and computer science. They have thousands of lessons and they add new content every month. This week's class, I'm always excited to check it out. Can you puzzle your way through the natural world? Okay, so this is the test. There's a pot of boiling water with a cup inside and they want to know when the water inside the cup will start to boil. Uh, I don't know. Same time. Submit. Incorrect. Never! What? But, oh, that's how they make uh, mousse au chocolat. Since there is no temperature difference at this point, there will be no more heat flow into the cup with no incoming heat from the water and the cup will never boil. I should have known this. I should have known this, but I didn't. But that's the cool thing about Brilliant. They give you these explanations and now I know. So as this points out, Brilliant does not only teach you about math, it also teaches you life lessons and it teaches you to become a better problem solver by learning just a little bit every day. It actually adds up to a lot. To try everything that Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, go to brilliant.org slash lauracamp or click the link in the description and the first 200 of you will get 20% off of Brilliant's premium annual subscription.